Woo! And we're synced. What's good, y'all? Kyle Loftus. I am so stoked for today's episode. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make cinematic light rays. Oh baby, let's do it. Now when attempting to make light rays, there's some key points to keep in mind. One of the most important is being that you have to be in full control of the light. So now as you're seeing with this time lapse, I'm setting my light up and getting it positioned to the general area and setup I wanna have. However, I'm not gonna be shooting this during the day. We're shooting it at night because that way I'm in full control of the light and I'm using my source. There's no way an Aperture 120D is gonna compete with that bad boy up in the sky or space we call the sun. So I'm waiting until dark so that way I'm in full control of the light. Another thing to remember here is that we wanna have the light further away. If we have the light right up against the window, it's gonna be way too big of a source and it's gonna flood all over in the room. We wanna have it further back so that way it's picking up on those hard edges from the blinds that I'll have you know, just slightly opened. See, the great thing guys is I have absolutely zero shame. So I'm showing you guys how to do these setups in the jankiest ways ever. Please get like proper materials like flags and such, but um, I just don't own them right now, you know? Like I just rent them for sets. So here at the house, you know, we're just using um, some t-shirts and such because I've got some edits I gotta get to and I got a conference call to hop on. Essentially, I can't wait till it's pitch dark out. So I'm, really trying to blot out a lot of light here. So again, I'm in full control of the light and that way all the light is really coming directly from my specific source. So coming, all the light coming in this room will be coming from the Aperture 120D, not from the sun. We're not getting a bunch of light just spilling and filling into this room. Again, we wanna have direct and precise control. Um, so we're gonna blot the blinds down. Uh, we're gonna take the 120D gear out, C-Stand's already rigged up um, and at the spot, so we'll set that up, pump in some haze, and uh, yeah, we'll make some minor tweaks, and we're gonna get those fancy light rays. Because so many of you are shitting on me for putting the blinds down terribly in my three favorite dramatic and cinematic lighting setups for interviews, if you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna amuse you again and put down the blinds like an idiot, because I, this is just, this is how I do it, you know? This is just, it works. It works for me, you know, it works. All right, let's hop outside. Additionally, I just want you to understand that the light source is gonna be relatively in the same exact spot that I have it positioned um, through this time lapse. But again, remember, I'm probably going to pull it back a bit. I might adjust the angle it's at, and I might adjust the height you know, I'm bringing it higher or lower, just a tad. So those will be slightly adjusted. It won't be exactly as you see with the end of this time lapse. But just remember that, you know, it's in the general vicinity and area. And again, those key points, you know, that you want to have it a bit further back. Another thing to remember here is obviously we won't, we don't want to use uh, a softbox or anything like that. I'm using a softbox right here, so I get nice, really soft uh, light coming on my skin tones. However, we want to use hard light when we're going for light rays because we need that hard light pounding through with those blinds again to kind of create that sharp edge and that contrast uh, between light and dark. All right, y'all, so we're in the room, we got the lights set up, we got pretty good opportunity for rays coming in here, um, but let's go ahead and flip the light off, see what the image is really gonna be looking like. Bam, as you guys can see here, just a really cool split light effect. Um, you know, we're getting some really cool drop off with the shadow play here, and again, just like this, and just like this ominous source of light coming in. But let's go ahead and pump some haze in. We'll pump some haze in. And uh, yeah, then we'll check the image out. Let's do it. All right. So we went ahead and got that light fixed up, moved it to a different spot a bit. As you can see here, right in this little pocket, obviously the light rays are coming out a lot stronger now. So we'll go ahead and waft this again. Just waffing this so not so clumped and well foggy and again just looks like more haze again the great thing about haze and the important thing is you have to have haze really to kind of achieve these light rays you need that atmosphere um, 
in the air. You need kind of these, uh, these particles in the air and that's gonna really bring out and showcase the light rays. Rapping like this, making a badass music video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at my light rays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a crazy song. <laughs> So yeah, guys, right here, this is just a real, real simple, quick way, you know, how you can achieve and make light rays at home. Uh, again, guys, really the key things you need to have here is a light stand, a pretty strong light source. Again, I would recommend the Aperture 120D. Um, and then really you need haze, um, haze or fog. Those are kind of the big things. Obviously there's some other elements like having a big bounce board or like me, a reflector that you can waft, uh, waft the, the fog fast. Um, having flags or other elements that can kind of help you better control the light. All that's gonna make a much bigger difference and help this out a lot more, of course. Um, and lastly, the things I really wanna harp on is, you know, I just don't have a strong enough light source. If I had a huge HMI or something like that, I could probably achieve this during daylight, um, but I don't. And so really, um, this is a pretty good look, but it would do much, much better if I was doing this when it was pitch dark at night, because again, the only light coming through is from my source light and no light from the sun or just like natural light bleeding through the window and filling the room. We still have a little bit of natural light coming through and kind of filling and spilling into my room. Not a ton, obviously, as you can see, we're getting some pretty good light rays here, um, but they get, but again, they could be much better if I waited um, until, you know, pitch dark late at night. Um, but yeah, guys, light rays. Woo! This episode was fire. Ugh. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe, hit the post notification, because we got killer videos coming every single week, boy. Yes! I'll see y'all there.